Yeah. Alright. Let's do it. Iceman with Ice Wall. Iceman cast Ice Wall. Mm -hmm. I'm so ready to play some Ymir, guys. We love the Iceman. Ice man, good. Casting some walls and stuff. Oh yeah. Ready to see what they do with Jason Smite too. Yeah. I'm excited as well. Someone actually commented on the YouTube my one of my YouTube videos the other day asking if I would do a video for uh, what I'd like to see in Joust too. Maybe I will do that. But honestly, I have not really put that much thought into it. Joust to you. What do we want out of Joust, guys? What's the community sentiment? Where's the kitty? She is outside the room at the moment. She might be sitting right out there, actually. The door is closed. I want to see Morgan. <laughs> Gods and items. Open the door. <laughs> she out there? Yeah, I'll, I'll go check and see if she's there. I'm curious now, too. She's not there, chat. Ah, we need like a cat door, bro. Cat door. Big sad. She's probably sleeping somewhere, you know, the usual. Pretty average cat things. Not that crazy. I don't worry about it. Seagull. How to predict when he's going to leave the base and Wallace Dash. <laughs> Watch him closely, boys. He's not dashing, guys. Okay. <laughs> he's really thinking about it. You and Roger, dude, you did GM? Nice. The Roger Ymir? Can't get wrong with the Roger Ymir. Can't game with your cats? Yeah. Luckily, we don't have a cable chewer. The cat that stays in this room has, um, Kika. She eats things she's not supposed to, but not cables, unfortunately. Well, so much for that impale. <laughs> yeah, Roger's not bad at you, Mir. Okay. Oh, that's good. Beads. Yeah, beads. Make sure they don't do this. I don't really want to waste my two. I'll just let them auto attack. Yeah, I didn't know. 
don't want to use a lot of mana, but I have to. I also don't want to, want to walk past that turret. I'm just scale up a bit here. I mean, I can wall people in. This is a really dangerous scenario for them. Hmm. He just rolled that. If only I had more mana. Kind of makes me wish about mana pots. That's okay. That's okay. They now have ultimatos, which is scary. All right, try and conserve some mana here. They got that Vulcan pressure right now. It's a little tough. It gets better. It does get better. That's a good thing. This guy just jumped over here. And he's probably just gonna ult this, right? Oh, he's gonna ult me. Nice. Nice. That's really good. We don't need to contest that red at all. Is thing. It's okay as long as we get all our stuff. Our pressure is just like really low in relation to a Vulcan, right? I don't want that yet. I want to get this DJ snap. So like, it's okay if we like lose a little pressure. I'll probably go um, Thebes Talisman into Spirit Rube. And then uh, we'll grab a Bracer instead of a Blank. Blank would be good, especially for Vulcan. Like freezing him. Would really put a lot of pressure on him. I need the jungle buff. But if I don't go Blank, then it's really easy for Vulcan to get away from me, right? Natalie with the Primer. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Primer, Primer. I feel like she shared that like a week ago. So we're gonna need to get a few Thieves stacks, and then we can kind of like walk up into them and try and get a play on the Vulcan. But uh, we gotta be a little careful for now because I'm not really tanky yet. Without Thieves stacks, and they've got a lot of damage. If I just try and walk up and CC Vulcan, I will get Vulcan comboed, get bolted on her, every, all the whole shebang. It's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> so let's uh, get a little bit of tankiness online before we attempt that one. Get behind me. No. We are just fine. Wall saved me. I don't really want to walk up into that. I'll back here. Huge ice wall. Also, Vulcan had a weird ult. Okay. I don't think they were expecting that. They tried. Yep, I'm not super tanky yet, so this is kind of the moment when they can actually do that to me. So I just need to be a little bit careful. That's that's the whole uh, thought process behind the sigil, right? And now, because they used all that on me, they're not going to be able to get this buff, which is huge. I'm going to take that, too, if he doesn't want it. We just scaling. That wall really did kind of just save my life, though. <laughs> that's huge. Huge. We don't really care about killing them. We just want to win neutral battles. That is all that matters right now. What's going on here? Get a shield. I'm working it. Completed. All right, we're almost at that point. I don't have much mana, so I'm just gonna fade off into the jungle here. I mean, if they go for me, that's fine. I'll slot Deb off a little bit. Sure, why not? Don't matter to me, I still need 150 gold anyway. For my, um, my infinite mana hack item. So I'll need this wave, and then just wait a few seconds. You have to wait for Scylla's 
Three lands coming back. Oh, she has that Prono Spender. Should be up in just a second. Okay, we're out. And now we have the item that I wanted. We'll upgrade the freeze. T2, level 2. Grab T2 Talisman. This Talisman's going to help X-Ball a lot. Because he's going to run out of mana without... Uh, out of mana regen, right? Quick Hulk and an absurd buff. No, he has not gotten an absurd buff now. Make this guy jump. Too fast. If I had Talisman, I caught him. Been a Talisman yet, though. Let my ward run out. Replace it. I think that is a good spot for my ward. The red buff spot is good, too, actually. Yeah, let's do that one. Alright, full Thebes. This is a uh, point in the game where I am very, very relatively tanky. Like, in relation to their damage, I'm very tanky, right? Okay. 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 Not that Vulcan old chunked her, what the heck? Well, that's all their ults. Looks like they're happy to trade one for one on buffs. So it was taking a while to get here, so I'm cool with this. <laughs> Ain't no hub there, buddy. Ain't no hole. Nope. Gotta hit that. Alright, we'll max, um, we'll max wall. I'm a big wall guy. Alright, huge. We are just, um, scaling right now. I think once we scale, we're gonna be a lot stronger than them. So them allowing this to play out slow is really bad. For them. Great for us. <laughs> I'm feeling really happy about this one. Okay. Timer there. Stop this guy's back. I want to get my bracer next. That's the big one. I might just go um, double, double, double blade this game. Bring blade relic dagger. Be really fast. You should be okay. I want to say. Got him. I got no mana. <laughs> he shielded himself. God, just go in and kill him, bro. Like, still, I'm taking the tower, man. Just walk up and kill him, bro. <laughs> uh, the lack of awareness sucks, but yeah, drop kill. If still had literally just walked up to him and hit him, I was tanking the tower. So. He had the option. He just didn't do it. Why he not attack? He probably just didn't didn't have the awareness to see that I walked into the tower for him. Just thinking more about like what can he do himself and less about what his ice man can do for him, you know, it's uh it's a common thing for lower ranking players and he's plat, so I mean I'm not exactly the most surprised. So I'm not gonna go on um, that spirit robe I was talking about. I'm gonna go straight for a Relic Dagger. Cause he was like 60% health or something, right? So if like, he was the one tanking the tower, that would be a problem, right? I think it's just these two. Nope, it's this guy too. Load him. Hit it. Or not. Yamir is here. Still a fan of Curse Weaver builds after the nerf? Depends on the god. I think the item is still good and buildable, yes, but uh, I'm not building it every game on every god. I that guy. I just rolled. Ooh. 
<laughs> I'm actually screwing this guy so hard. <laughs> this gam is getting destroyed. This is a Ymir differential at the moment. Back to work. All right, Nat. Yeah, gotta be kind of careful taking all that damage because they can counter push right if I stay around too long so I'm gonna try and leave as soon as possible grab this now I can get back in did he on her ult to try and steal that blue that's that's what I'm hearing I can wall this off they try and pressure it you'll get no pressure on this Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Can't be late. All right, Nat. All right. Have a good day. Beat him down. What the heck? I'll get the spear robe, and I think I'm gonna go maybe winged or crit last. Close. Okay, this is where the game starts becoming fun. It's now we just have like a lot of things over them. We can always X ball up for the tower as well, but might as well get the red first. Oh, dang, missed the wall. Kinda low. That's his job. I can wall. Gotta freeze in a couple seconds too. Need healing. Nope. Awkward. Yeah, I need beads. Interesting. Oh, that's on her beads. Alright, we're just fine. No problem. No problem. No. Gonna get him. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Alright, let's get a uh, T1 Spear Robe. No worries, man. And I'm actually gonna upgrade this. The Root Sprint. It's gonna take it forever for that to upgrade, and it is kind of a useful upgrade for me to have. Really big boost to attack speed. I think I upgrade some 10% to 25 for my teammates, right? And then, of course, I get the Root. <laughs> so the Root's really good. <laughs> I'll just follow where X-Ball goes, just shadow him. Going for jungle if he hit that, I could have just walled myself. Uh, I don't really care about that. Okay. Another Bracer down. I want to go on Geb, because he's going to blink us. We have beads up. Jump. Right. Curses. Maybe I should have trapped Vulcan in instead of walling him out. A little bit of a spooky fight, though. A tricky thing is, like, we want to go to fire, right? But the tower is 1 HP, so. Not like the best thing to do. We gotta get out of here before Honor comes back. Yada go! But I'm getting whittled down by this tower pretty heavily. Pretty painful. Pretty painful. Luckily, we have all the pressure, so it's like kind of on us to make a mistake for them to play, which is fine with me. Attack middle tower, enemy missing. You're just fine. Just need to heal up. So the only thing I'm having a problem with is the uh, health regen. I think I'm taking a good amount of poke. On my way. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> sure. A healthy amount of poop. Okay, in the jump. We can not explode this tower, right? If he wants to. Can wall the carry that. Yeah, it's a weird, weird position because it's like we really want to get this last bit of the tower, but it is risky to like just step in there. It's tough to get a good wall, I think. Hold them out. Okay, just run away from really fast. <laughs> And now we can do the fun part. <laughs> There's no hole there, pal. Alright, we good. Got Ward. And I'm going to get upgraded Relic Dagger here. Start her next, of course. And then we can make a play for fire. Let's take a peek. I really I really want that speed, actually, but it's fine. We can pressure fire now, and this is where it gets a lot better for us, because they have to chase us out here, right? So I got the Relic Dagger, so I can clean up any wards. There are any. Behind us. Hmm. Dang. Didn't, didn't. Oh, actually, I got hit by that. Unlucky. No problem. Yeah, the Vulcan ult kind of cooked him. Got no relics, so. I think he got hit by the Gebel, too, actually. <laughs> Nash, do that one hurt a little bit. I'll go check fire, make sure they're not doing it. They definitely could. Enemy missing. Okay. Get this going. Be right back. Boy. Looks like they got no wards. Oh, looks like they might have a ward. Actually, no. He just saw me. I have a ward right here. And I this so I haven't seen it. Let's get a couple words here. Alright nice we got words on everybody now. Now let's put the bracer down. And we're just gonna keep doing our Ymir thing. So this towel's been going for our boy. We can just put Bracer and not go fire at all if they want to do that. I mean, I'm okay with that. Catching them in corridors is huge. They have no vision. I have a wall in two. Boy. That's Vulcan B. Datus. Vulc Relics. I'll get this. Huge. And I think I'm actually going to finish with Midgard since they have on her with Fatalis. Why did I move? Well, you're, you're mirroring them very hard at the moment. On my way. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to Ymir. Uh, 
have to let this go. I don't really have a choice. I don't want to fight this. I think we just attack. Gotta move before Vulcan spawns. Scylla has no relics, but Expel has both, so... Let's play up on the Geb here and try and wall off on her. Do some damage by a lot. Bracer here. Free Phoenix. We can get some pressure on the Titan here too, actually. E Datus. Hit him with that. One auto. GG. <laughs> and you're dead too. A GG, boys. That, my friends, is what they call And that is how you play the Iceman. Very good solo frontline guardian when uh, you're forced in the position. And we played with this guy. Oh, GG's Cody. We played with this guy the last game, this Scylla. So... I had a pretty good idea he was going to go uh, second carry. And Cody's playing Hunters, so. We go with the Ymir. And we Donald Trump him with our walls. Absolutely beautiful. GG's, GG's. The Vulcan actually did a lot of damage. Wow. 90, dude, they actually had like no wards. Only three. But, yep, that's that's all the Ymir, man. I didn't go blink that game, which is... um. Pretty solid choice for Ymir. Definitely against that Vulcan too, right? But I was just uh, going for full movement speed abuse. Little Talisman, uh, Bracer, Sprint, and I was just able to catch up to the Vulcan. And so when the Geb wasn't playing like right next to him, which we caught him doing in the last couple fights, I was able to punish the Vulcan super, super hard. And we even killed him through the Geb shield in the last one. But that wall just locks him down for so long, right? And then even against the guys that can get over the wall, like the on her, I can just use the wall to get rid of his escape. And then my wall is on a 10 second base cooldown. I've got two cooldown items. And I'm so fast that even without my wall, I can probably catch him. So, yep. Really? Really good god. Like I said, probably was going to go uh, mid-guardian last for the on her with the fatalis. Because if I'm going to die, it's going to be because he's going to shred me. I'm not dying from the gebolt plus the Vulcan combo. Not with Spirit Robe and how tanky I am with uh, the Sigil and whatnot. But the Honor could definitely shred me in that whole combo. So that's why we itemized a bunch of CCR and mitts for when I get CC'd. And just like maximum survivability and just playing off the walls. 